Well, hey out there, fans, friends, feds, and frenemies, it's me, Postmodern Cowboy, and I'm back with episode number 16, I think. 16. Uh, wow. We're, uh, we're getting pretty far in this. I, I, uh, I don't think I've, I've gone this far into a going medieval playthrough before. I, I think I got to, like, episode 13 last time, or 12. Um, but this is Going Medieval. It's a community management survival game from Foxy Voxel. It's a lot like RimWorld, Dwarf Fortress, Surviving Mars, games like that. And we're on Spring Day 11. The map seed is Aber Wyvern. Uh, Aber Wyvern is a fictional community from the book Castle by David McCauley. It's a children's architecture book. It's illustrated. It's pretty cool. It's also uh, the name of a community from uh, the associated PBS, not documentary, but uh, I mean, it's kind of a documentary the associated PBS animated documentary uh, about castle building. It's a good look at uh, architecture and techniques from the 12th century is when it takes place. Uh, we're obviously, I think we're in the 14th century here, so things are a little bit different. The, you know, the, the building methodology is still all the same, um, and we're clipping along. We had a lot of excavating to do this spring slash summer, this summer, um, and we're going to wait for our barley to come in. We just brought our hay in, so our animals aren't starving because we lost we lost our beloved cow. Our corpse is still there. We lost our beloved cow. Wobble. Rip. Wasn't worth loading from, from save, though. And settlers are starting to have a bad time. Andrew keeps passing in out of consciousness. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what his malfunction is. I think he's just, uh, he's just tired. I think he's unhappy. He's just exhausted. And they are desperately thirsty, though, um, which is a problem that should be soon rectified. Uh, with the fermentation of our beer, it does take some time. I uh, I brew in the IRL. I can tell you, it does take some time. Um, the last thing I made was a whole lot of meat, a whole lot of meat that was um, a year or so ago, and um, I don't know, seven, eight gallons of meat, which lasted well through a winter. Uh, it was a lot of honey that had to go into it too. It was uh, not not inexpensive. I think it was two hundred and something dollars for all the honey, but um, plus five or six weeks of waiting all told and you know really that isn't that long to have three four five months worth of drink probably we didn't, we didn't drink that much I like it, it wasn't uh, it wasn't a huge a binge it wasn't a mead binge it was a you know having a glass now and then it was pretty strong too like it was on the on the higher end of the uh, alcohol percentage what, what you're capable of achieving through fermentation um, and it tasted a little bit like old boot, like it had a real organic taste, which you don't get from store-bought meads, but, um, I was, I was a big fan. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a brewer, I'm a baker, I'm a candlestick maker. Uh, I do some construction here and there and I, I can farm and grow things. Um, hashtag my peasant life, right? <laughs> Fortunately, I don't have any land on which to farm or grow. I'm drinking here. Oh, we're back on the, uh, the the Canuck Great Lakes Brewery. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Probably the best, the best, uh, in my opinion, craft you can get in in the United States of Canada. Oh, they're all, they're all fucked up now, because I, okay. And Alfred's rebelling. Let's get back on the business at hand here, folks. Andrew should mine and construct. Hankin should mine and construct. Joanna should, what's her thing again? Research. And Kevin should mine and... Construct. Uh, hunt. He should mine and hunt. And actually, let's set hunting to one, mining to two, animal husbandry to one. 
um, Mark's the other animal husbandry expert here. Two, three. Uh, Mark will be on two. Okay. Mining to one, Oscar to uh, growing and harvest two, and Peter to mining one. I don't think I'm going to do it again where I reassign all the priorities. It's kind of annoying uh, slash obnoxious to uh, reassign the priorities. So. Okay, we might as well start the Great Hall adventure here. This is going to be a total ordeal. Again, I talked in the last episode about lowering a basement. If you've never done it, I don't advise you to try. Uh, it's probably one of the more complicated things you can do in construction. Um, home construction, anyway. My favorite thing to do in construction, which is not home construction, is probably columnar forming. It's funny because I'm I'm uh, I'm interacting with columns right now, but uh, building fly forms that get lifted in by crane um, to form vertical columns, um, like they use in condo sites. We were we were in a water treatment plant uh, facility, but that was real rewarding work. That was really cool. They were 25 foot tall columns, um, concrete, you know, about four feet by four feet, so quite thick. Um, they weren't made to support water, but they were made to go inside the area that contained water um, and support the flooring above it. So they had to be pretty sturdy. You know, you didn't want the floor to collapse. So there's a lot of dirt up there. It was quite the project, I will say. Um, but columnar forming is like just an art, is a fine art. Might as well throw a door on there. I'm quitting that job because uh, part of it uh, involved working in a low lift water treatment uh, facility. So uh, in order to get the water up the hill, there was a facility by the lake and it was like a 60 meter deep pit uh, in January and February. So it was like where I was minus 30 outside and inside um, it was cold it was below zero but the water wasn't freezing it was ice and having the water wasn't freezing because it was always being pumped um, to keep it moving to keep it from freezing and there were big propane heaters keeping it warmish um, or warming it as it as it moved and uh, in order to work down there um, I had to wear hip waders so I was waist deep in water while well, it was minus 30 outside in a room that's below zero with flowing water. And there were electrical cables in the water and somebody dropped a hammer from uh, 60 meters up and it, it hit me in the hand and I, I quit on the spot. I gave up. I was like, no, this is dumb. This is, this is like, I will do a lot of hard things uh, without, without thinking, but that was, that was too hard. You know, that was extra stupid heart and of course the company lawyer was like oh we're sorry and is there anything we do to make it safer and we don't want you to quit and i was like no i'd, I'd rather just go be warm so i went to university <laughs> like, uh, but that job honestly like that job paid the most of any job i've ever had uh, up until this past year so and now i have a new job where i'm making the exact same rate so not that i not that not that i need to brag i'm not bragging i'm just Making small talk because I've got nothing else to do except, you know, spin the camera around while they mine. Spin the camera around while they mine. No, there's things I can do. What can I do? There's nothing I can do. Pick up more things to mine is what I can do. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the interior of these, these, uh, 
first. Quite like where this business is going here. That's sarcasm. Oh my. Oh, the good thing I remembered. We're summer day one and they're still wearing their winter clothes. That's cute. That could have that could have ended badly. I haven't made them straw hats either. Caps are fine, I guess, right? Plus one maximum comfortable temperature. Yeah, so they don't they don't the hats don't increase your comfortable maximum. Um but they don't they don't decrease it. They're not warm caps. Uh, warm, warming caps or just warm caps or like anyway you know what I mean well, the sun hats are I'm going to have to make a bunch of them before the the update I don't know it's going to be coming in like a week or two I think from the, the vibe I the vibe I get from the um, the dev blog is the night and day light and light and shadow winter summer temperature indoor outdoor business um, is pretty fucking nigh, so that's cool, I guess. Something to look forward to. We'll certainly, we'll certainly change things. Okay, and I can now lay down the wall. Resources. I guess they just can't reach it. No, they can reach it. Why can't they? Maybe they can't reach it. Of course, because there's there these these characters are extra super smart, right? Like these are so smart. Uh, these these uh, these uh, peasants. What are they? The, the workers. The workers are so smart um, that they they mined out the doors. They, they, instead of painting yourself into a corner, they painted themselves into a place where they couldn't. They just couldn't. Oh yeah, this is coming along super well. <clears throat> How am I going to do this? Let's think for a hot minute. They won't be able to reach it from below either, I don't think. They can't mine up. It'd be cool if they could, but they can't. So I should watch that. The wall floats there. Okay, so we're... This is good. This is good that I'm catching this now, rather than waiting until there's a big collapse. I need to assign someone to construction. Who's my best builder? Andrew is still the best builder. He's not even a good miner. I'll just leave him on building. And nothing of value was lost. Oop, we had a, we had a oopsie poopsie fucky wucky back up here with the removal of some structural thing again, causing another cave in, but it, that this cave in didn't transfer through. It's kind of a similar building system to going in exiles. Actually, it really is. There's an intuitive, you know, you know, undermining is going to do a little bit of damage above the Conan exiles. You can't really undermine. You can uh, certainly remove support from lower down in the structure, but there's no, there's no digging. But in this, yeah, in this case, removing something here caused that little bit of floor up there to collapse for some unknown reason, and 
I mean, I, like I said, I would have needed to build this from the ground up in order to avoid that. There's not really a way to foresee without, you know, being not even a structural engineer, just being like a, like a genius, like looking at the structure and like calculating its individual stability. There, there, but there is a stability system. I guess that's that's the word. Um, just like just like Conan. Okay. So I might go back and play. Um, I, I'm going to do uh, State of Decay next. Um, add that to the repertoire. Still working on the old Silica review. But Conan also just got some kind of update, or is getting is getting an update, or I I I saw some some dev blog about it, so I need to. You double check what's going on with that because I have I have five thousand hours in Conan Exiles and if I could do a let's play from scratch, um, it would have to be in a PVE server though, or at least a private server. Which I I do I do have a person who's bothering me to play on the private server, so might be a thing that happens. I've also never played Conan Exiles modded. Why are they dumb? Guys, why are they dumb? Why why can't they just mine? I, I don't understand why they're incapable of They have they have to mine what they reach, why, why they can't go to the like the, the bad parts of the room and mine. Okay, we completed the workshop on the armory floor. That's good. That'll help stuff. Ten sun hats. Did everyone get their clothes? They all got their summers. All right. So I'm losing some space in these rooms, right? Like they get narrower, but in the end, the structure will be a lot more stable and the keep will be sitting on a buried foundation. That's why I have to build the foundation simultaneously from below ground to above ground um, while digging out the part in the middle. When I was, uh, I was looking for work most recently, a guy asked me, um, do, you, do you know how to do you you had to do foundations, um, and like the answer is yes. The answer is yes. I had to do foundations, but I didn't want to. Um, you know, a, a foundation. I've, I've, uh, I've done like, you know, retaining wall foundations at a at a gravel as a base, and I've done uh, fence foundations. Um, like the individual post holes full of concrete, but but a house foundation is quite the quite the big job, um, and it's one that if you screw up a little bit, uh, the whole structure is screwed. And when, when you're dealing with multi million dollar homes, that's a that's a that's a hundred thousand dollar mistake right there. <laughs> so, um, well, yes, I do know. I had like I you know no not that well no not that well. But I know enough to make one in a video game. All right. Yeah, we're getting there. We're actually getting there. This is good. This is very, very good. I'm quite happy with this. Somehow, what are these? Honey beeswax, yeah. Somehow we need to get up a floor. And I don't, or down a floor. I guess wooden stairs can be built over things, right? That's the, the way that works. So if I just drop a wooden stairwell there and tell Andrew to go build it, he'll go build it, right? How much wood do I have anyway? None. No wood on the stockpile. How much wood is a field? Almost none. Like a couple piles there coming down on it. That's good. The trees are growing back, so we'll do another another clear cut this season. Um, skipping the apple trees, of course. So again, they're going to move. I'm going to cut the apple trees down and replant all the seedlings that I can get. I 
Yeah, this is so funny watching the upper layer merge into the basement. Like, it's going to look really good when we're done, guys. That's all I got to say. And to be honest, I can dig down significantly further than this. I think, I think this is all the space you need in going medieval right now. There's no, there's no need to dig all the way to the map bottom, Dwarf Fortress style, but if in future there's a reason to expand the community, we can. Assuming future updates don't, like Bork saves. Okay, now they've got stairs down. Now they're just going to tear through this. Yeah, and nothing's collapsing because it's still all structurally sound. It's the best. It really is the best when that works out like that. Okay, we might as well relocate the Bruin bench to that corner now. How much alcohol? We've got to see, we, we've reached 30 too. 30. Fantastic. Did it use all of our barley? No, we've still got a shit ton of barley left. Speaking of barley, first crops up. What's he going to haul? Okay. I'm going to monitor him and see what he actually hauls, but he should prioritize food. Hmm. I need him harvesting, and then I need him hauling. In that order. No, she's such a good miner. Oh, good at it. Maybe... Yeah. Alright, this makes sense. Look at that. It's a pit. It's a crazy fucking pit. Where did Hankin even go after he mined that? He teleported somehow. Okay, this is truly fantastic here now. We're getting somewhere. No, there's no structural issues yet? Nope, none. Yeah, so if we and if we just keep filling that floor out. This wall is gonna be harder. <laughs> Don't say that, because that's that's so structural. Down the middle, those those really carry a lot of the weight in the building. Mark's getting old. He's 58. Did I lose someone? No. Why is Andrew... 
passing in and out of consciousness. He's just exhausted. Something's wrong. I lost 10. They must have drunk it, fermenting beer. I would think it would have had to ferment before it became... That's interesting. I don't know where it's fermenting either. Maybe it's fermenting in the warm. Prob oh, it is. That's what's going on. Or maybe some of the fermenting product fell through the floor and disappeared. I don't... I don't know. So why am I building like this? Um, so a table, which we should now have access to furniture three. No, we need to. All right, whatever, whatever. It's going to take a while. A table is two units wide. And these, these halls are six units wide, which means the pillars in the great hall actually are going to need to go along the outside. It's going to mean transferring the weight of the building onto the uh, separate pillars and removing the ones in the center, the columns in the center uh, of these rooms. That's fine. That shouldn't affect the structure if I do it in the correct order. I don't know what's going to go in this room on the other side. It'll be a great hall and uh, won't be an armory. It might actually be a, a type of storage. Oh, a kitchen, of course. Well, yeah, we'll do a we'll do the with a formal kitchen across the great hall, storage downstairs, get on the stairs. Yes, perfect, perfect. Yeah, so then they're going to they're gonna mine this out. Everything will connect through. I'm going to leave the outer courtyard to last. This is not going to be a door when, when we're done. Maybe I should build the merchant stall again because I haven't had a merchant in a while. We also haven't had a bandit raid in a while. I'm expecting that like any second. In fact, I probably should just go send them to get their weapons and armor now, but I, I, I haven't. So I'm, I'm incompetent.
Okay, just put the merchant stall there for now. Send Andrew to build that shit. Nobody's researching right now. Somebody is researching, actually. They've been working at uh, the advanced bench. Which is fine. You know, it's not fine. I need the other, the other type of chronicles. I need chronicles. My beer not fermenting because of the temperature now? Is that what's happening? Fermenting because of temperature. Huh. Maybe I should take the fermenting ingredients off these stockpiles and put them on... I think I think things ferment in cold. I'm not I'm not sure. I mean real like really fermentation happens in the real world at any temperature. It just has to be a stable temperature. You know, there are good wines and beers that are produced in cold temperatures. And there are there are, are, are good wines and beers that are produced in warmer temperatures. Um, you don't want it too warm. I think I think that that can lead to some funky tastes. But really, the funkiest tastes are going to come from um, variance in temperature. There's a tip there. There's no where I'm at right now. I can't really brew without uh, like temperature stable storage because the temperature varies here so wildly. There's no wood. I'm gonna fuck everybody up here. So there are no plant cutting orders. Shouldn't be anyway. We should double check that we... Yeah, we are getting the stuff in. Is it gonna decay on me? No. We're good. It's already being brought in. Are they replanting? Yeah, a little. No, no, he has not done any replanting at all. It's too bad. He's the best at it too, but I need him to do other things, unfortunately. And what are we going to cut? We're just going to cut... This patch of trees right here. It's a lot of trees, to be honest. It'll take at least a full day. And Os he just see Osgar just rebelled. So he's gonna waste day five, which I don't think you can plant barley after day five. I wanted to get two barley crops in, but it just it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Starving. Who's starving? Oh, I see what happened to them. See, that's just dumb. They should be smart enough not to do that, but I guess I guess I should also be paying attention to the things they, they are doing.
So, to be clear, we didn't get any wood cutting or any hauling done. So everybody's got priorities, I guess. Mark and Missa had a breakup. They never did get around to these berries, did they? That's too bad. Okay, we'll plant cabbages. Maybe we should be planting beets. How many? An interesting thought. Not many. Not enough seeds. Okay. Cabbages it is. And uh, let's plant the carrots there. I'm going to stretch them until they're going to seed. But I have a lot of barley and I have a lot of hay. Okay, and then they're gonna switch over to cutting plants. Um, we're not we're not doing much mining right now. We've we've mined as much as we can before the the priorities of the season have overtaken us. Um, they are gonna do a lot of hauling and um, just general moving of goods, I reckon. I don't know what to do with this little room here. I'll figure that out. The end of the chapel.
Well, I'm going to need to appoint, uh, uh, appoint an infirmary, too. That's you know, one of the towers, but... Arcs exhausted. I don't want them to cut the damn trees, but they're still cutting the damn grass. I bet you're going to cut the berries first, too. At least they're filling this room with hay, which is good. Which won't decay yet. That's... Not losing a cow this winter. Not that I'm going to have a cow this winter, unless... A merchant comes through with a cow. That'd be cool. That would be optimal, in fact, if a, if a livestock merchant came through. I guess I guess I need any wood. Like I'm I'm starting I'm starting to get really frustrated with the way this game handles wood. They won't they won't cut it as a priority. It's the last thing they cut, and it's the last thing they haul. So you never have wood on your stockpile. It's just tedious. Unless you're signing the individual cut orders like I just did. Oh, there's a bear there. the end of summer before we get to yeah that's not ideal all right we also have a cat problem that's going to need to be addressed so let's manage uh overview overview of domestic animals by type. Yeah. There's too many cats again. I don't care how many. Uh, I guess I shouldn't kill all the female cats, eh? Keep one male and one female cat. Keep the young ones. Yeah. And way too many damn goats. I should probably split the goats and sheep up so I can count them, because there are a lot. I 
also feel like it's maybe a valid tactic to save on feed to just open the gates in the summer and let them graze. Like if the sheep can wander around, they'll do their own thing. Of course, they will get killed by wildlife, right? Like wolves will eat them, bears will kill them, I would assume. Planting's happening. The wood cutting happening? Don't think so. Hauling is happening. I'll let them, I'll let them haul for a while. That's good. This is actually probably better. Give me a lot of hauling. I don't think I have a fermenting table anymore, do I? I 
Did they break a bunch of shelves or something? What the fuck? Oh, I guess they moved them. They were slated to move. I get it. I get it. Okay, that's fine. How's your food situation? Not good. Really quite not good. And my cook's cooking. Full time. I don't know if it's a waste of food or not. Now, why didn't they ever start making the animal feed here? There's no reason they didn't. I'm going to use cabbages. And that's it. To make animal feed. A lavish meal. We want to use everything but cabbages. And... We're going to need a bunch of meat. Let's see how this goes. Now we can call the herd of goats. Okay. Please train. Okay, I'm going to mark two goats for training. I'm going to mark a male goat who's in his first year. I'm going to mark a... Do I not have any female goats? My goat population collapse. Oh, I do have one female goat. Oh, there they are. Okay. That was weird. No, there's lots of female goats. Yeah, I'm like, I'm pretty sure they're still birth of new goats. So let's keep two, three female goats. And then everybody else gets to chop. How's the sheep situation? Get some old sheep. Okay. Seriously call down the sheep population too. Oh, they're actually trying to tame them. Man, my god. Uh, I gotta turn that back off. Okay, now the killing should start. They're just not cutting those trees.
I do have a fermentation bench. Good. Is it a problem that I don't have a fodder storage? Is that... The problem is I don't have a fodder storage. As soon as they turn that on, they're going to start making animal fodder. Which is good, because we need, we need that more than... Like, I mean... <laughs> At a certain point, hay becomes the most efficient because you have the you need piles and piles of the stuff. We're almost at that point. I'd say at 4,000 hay, I won't worry about it anymore. Build a silo and forget. Finally get him to finish the merchant stall. Why is Missa unhappy? She's hungry. Her alcohol requirements are not met. This stuff's not fermenting anymore. Okay, so it must ferment at certain temperatures. Okay, so it can't be in the coldest room. Okay, well, at least we got a merchant uh, stall there. I'm going to have to figure out the fermentation temperatures. So we need... Absolutely need that. Okay, that beer is going to become beer, and then they'll be they'll all be real happy for a little while. We're gonna have to keep doing that. Okay, this should not have carcasses on it, nor should it have any material on it. it should just have fermenting ingredients. I think I understand. Okay, so if I put. Clay braziers in this room. So the fermenting stuff can ferment at room temperature, right? But the wine and beer, I don't want to turn to vinegar, should be stored long term. Should get happy immediately. <laughs> Yeah, they put that stuff away too. I see something collapse. Nope. I think walling this in is going to help as well.
It really is an interesting season to spend hauling, but they're getting a little distracted. There we go. Okay, it's wood cutting time. We'll bring in the wood. I just, I just want a big, I want a big old stockpile of wood somewhere in this base. Make sure wood's not going on these piles and I'll put another one. Just, just wood. Back behind here. Let's make it double wide. Why not? And so we'll put wood only on it. That's not permanent either. None, none, none of these stockpiles are permanent either. Um, I just I wanted to clear material out out of the interior here as much as possible, which didn't really work. We've got so much damn limestone there. I guess the advantage with making these lavish meals really is that they provide so much nutrition. These characters don't. They actually don't pr provide a lot of nutrition. 85 nutrition to 90 nutrition for substantial. Like anyway, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna comment on that, Foxy Voxel. That seems imbalanced. It seems imbalanced. You look at the time. Well, that is, in fact, all for me for now. This is Post Modern Cowboy playing Going Medieval, a community management survival game from Foxy Voxel. If you like watching me play these games, let me know what you think down in the comments, please. Um, if you don't like watching me play these games for whatever reason, let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, throw me a like, subscribe to my channel, and as always, keep it peaceful out there. <laughs>